It's Real Tomorrow Cars Crimson. I'm back with another commercial builder review. Today we're in Moneyline, Illinois, and we have this 5,500 square foot building behind me. And me personally, I'm going to chop it up again like we did the last video. If you guys haven't watched that video, you want to make sure you go back and watch that video. But you can own this for only $374,000. So as I go through, I, I want you guys to comment below and let me know what you would do, how you would chop it up, what you would put where. So you guys want to make sure you watch the full video. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you're watching it on social media, make sure you follow me. Make sure you share the video. So we're inside. As you can see, look at all the space we have in here. I also want to point this out to you guys. We have two different doors right here. There's actually three doors. So there's a door there, a door there, and there's a door over there by the garage. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around the entire facility, and then I'm gonna come back and tell you what I'm doing. So we have all this space in here. As you guys can see, nice space over here, nice space over there. Um, we do have two separate furnace units in here, which is another great thing of how we can switch it up. We can rent each side out. So there's a unit there, and there is also a unit here. So then we have this room over here that's been framed out, doesn't have any drywall though. And then right back here, we have one restroom, which uh, light. I don't know about the light situation, but just, you can always get that feet. That's nothing. That's light. Then we go back to the back. Well, boom, boom, boom. We got this back here. Nice, open, clean. Let's wrap around this way. Now I'm gonna bring you guys back the other way. So now you can see it from this angle. Wham, wide open. And then we have a restroom right there. Now, let's go back around. I know I'm taking you guys in the maze, but I'm doing this on purpose. Go this way. Nice little hallway, nice little lighting right here. Then, this is the way, it's another entrance. And then we have the garage door right here. And then we also have like a little room right in there. We also have the heater as you guys can see. So now I'm gonna work backwards. This part right here, if I'm renting this out to someone or if, if I'm the, the renter, I'm using this as a tent. I'm, this is where I'm tenting it right here. Bring the car in right here, tent. I don't need that much space. You don't need very much space. Any car can fit right through this door with no problems. I'm gonna store all of my tent right in there. So I'm 5%, 3%, 20, 15, all the tent is gonna go in there. So this is gonna be my tent area. For those of you who wanna rent or for whoever purchased this building, this is how I would lay it out. I would, you know, I would market it to a tenant. Or you can do rims, put rims on right here. But me, I'm like kinda tedious about stuff. So I think that I would want a little bit more room to do the rims, but we can always make it work. Let's go back here. We're gonna go all the way to the back. Now, back here is wide open. Decent sized space, very open. I would do some painting and stuff in here, make it a little calm, have it a little calm feeling. And this is where they're gonna do a dance studio. Dance studio, gymnastic, yoga, and all that cheerleading, whatever they wanna do. Right back in here, plenty of space. I'll paint the walls black so it's nice and dark if we're doing yoga. You know, put some nice flooring in here, like some the um, the mats all through here. This is where they're gonna be doing the dancing and the zoom, the, the zumba and all that, whatever they do. This is where they're gonna do that at, right here. Now, then we're gonna go on this side. Now, this one I've been having a very hard time of picking what I actually would do with this part because it's so large. Um, so from this door on this side, all the way back here, it's possible I would do rims. So you could do a rims sound tent shop all in one. It kind of varies, it kind of depends on you because you could use that as a tent in a rim installation right there. 
You can put the sounds and stuff right here. You can have the rims over there in the front or vice versa. So that's another thing that you can do. You already have your furnace and everything. So you have your whole setup. You have your bathroom right there. So you're good to go. So from this point here, over here, I'm putting a nail shop. Now, I need you guys to comment below and let me know what you would do with all this space. Because then I thought about the nail shop and I'm thinking like, what well, they want to have all this noise. I'm gonna have sound system and all that stuff over here. But it's all about preference. So I don't know. So I'm doing a nail shop right here. Boom, boom, boom. They got the whole setup. And this room that's blocked off already, this is gonna be the storage. This is where we're gonna store the nails and finger nail polish and all that stuff at. Don't forget you have the bathroom and you have your own furnace right here. So you don't need to go on the other side for any purposes. So comment below and let me know what you would do and how you would do it and why you would do it. That's what I need y'all to do. Again, 5,500 square feet building, square foot building, $374,000. They could be split up into three different sections. And you can make some good money. So again, make sure you smash the subscribe button if you're on YouTube, if you're on social media, follow me, share the video to all your friends so we can get this out there. Oh yeah, one more thing. I appreciate every last one of you that has subscribed to my YouTube channel. We're almost at the thousand mark. You're like, last time I checked, we at 881. So you guys want to make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Join the Double R family. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's Real Tyrone, and I'm gone.